What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome to a vlog. It has been a very long time since I have vlogged. Um, I think it's been since Christmas when I failed at Vlogmas. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> really, Kit Kat? Really? Are you going to do it? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you. <sighs> Hi. You are so lucky you didn't knock anything over. Yeah, I caught that on camera. Everybody saw you. <laughs> Thank you for coming and getting cat hair all over me. That was one way to start a vlog. Thank you, Kit Kat. Thank you for that. So yeah, I decided to vlog today. Kind of a life update. I have a couple boxes that I need to unbox that I'm so behind on. Maybe a little reading vlog. I'm gonna show you my bookshelf that I kind of just redecorated. And I got a new little desk kind of over here. So yeah, this is just gonna kind of be a random vlog. Um, and I didn't feel like putting makeup on, so I got mascara on. And that's it. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, great time to dye my hair right before quarantine. You can already see my brown roots coming in. In no time, I'm going to have like half brown hair, half black hair. It'll be great. It'll be fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. But yeah, quick kind of life update for you guys. I hope that everybody is doing as well as can be with everything going on in the world. I hope everybody is safe. Thank you for everybody who's commented on my last few videos saying they're praying that I stay safe. And thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, yes, I am a nurse, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm like on the front line and like all the gear and everything because I have been lucky enough that I have not even had to take care of a patient who is positive for COVID-19 because I work on a neurosurgical floor so we deal with uh, patients after brain surgery so if like if a patient had a brain tumor you know we take care of them after they had that brain tumor removed we have had positive cases in the hospital um, but like I said I have been lucky enough to not have um, direct contact and honestly my hospital they've been canceling us like everybody is like oh you're a nurse thank God you know at least you have a job and stuff and I'm like well most hospitals and doctors have canceled all surgeries unless they're emergent so like a lot of our surgeries are canceled and so our senses have been down so they've been canceling us so like my PTO is gone and then I was sick this past weekend and I'm like yeah <laughs> so yeah the struggle bus is kind of hitting everybody and then Calvin my husband he's the catering manager at a hospital and I thought that he would be okay since he's a manager and, you know, it's at a hospital. I mean, they still have to eat. He's in charge of so many different areas. But, I mean, even his hours got cut. So he's doing, like, a week on, week off where he works from home one week and then he works there the other. It's been crazy. Um, this past month has been, I mean... 2020 like <laughs> I did end up having to cancel every book box subscription but Alcrate and Fairy Loot and even those might have to go for a while if I keep getting canceled like guys I don't have any PTO like if I don't if I don't work I don't have money so and I actually have an Alcrate box to unbox for you guys and an unplugged book box um, I'm still waiting on fairy loot for, what is the month? What is, is it March? April. So I'm waiting for March's fairy loot and it's April 14th. So, I mean, I know they're running behind with everything. So, and this was like a special edition Alcrate box. So I'm just going to unbox both of them. I'm not going to battle them in this vlog. So yeah, how is everybody? Like, I hope you guys are okay, y'all. Y'all, look at Kit Kat. She's 
she just running the world okay so most of you guys I don't think see this area uh, you only really see my bookshelves but this is like my desk area I have my cute little mandrakes this is rose and this is frosty and just some of my wands then I have my bookmark collection that I always say I have thousands of bookmarks. And these aren't even like my magnetic bookmarks. These are just like my regular bookmarks. <laughs> and then I have tons of keychains because that's what we seem to get the most of. I do like all my Harry Potter ones though. I love my Deathly Hollow one. But yeah. <laughs> I do have some of those and then some of these so that's this little area with my Chudley Cannon what do y'all think I just did a bookshelf tour recently, but I did reorganize it because I have um, a lot of new stuff. So I created a lot of new sections. I actually have the empty section down there. My new potion section. Some of it's the same, some of it's different. This is different. This is kind of like my invitation replicas. So I have my invitation to Bill and Floor's wedding, uh, nearly headless Nick's death day party, uh, Slughorn's Christmas party, and then I have the Yule Ball from Cherry's Box, which is gorgeous, my night bus tickets, and then I have a certificate back there. And this is actually a new section. It's my Order of the Phoenix DA kind of section. So kind of everything on this bookshelf has something to do with an Order of the Phoenix member. Like Mad-Eye Moody, we have Floor, Neville, the twins. So yeah, I even have my key to Grimwald Place. You have the Grimwald Place art print. And then this is kind of a new section as well. I got that Luna art print from Accio Box, and it's gorgeous. But this is kind of Luna and Ron, and then a little Quidditch over here. And then I actually have two Magical Creature sections, because I had so many. So yeah, I think these might be one of my favorite sections on my bookshelf now. And I have my certificate that I signed from Mist and Magic. Oh, I just love it. And then I have, oh, I put the headstone for Dobby next to the knife. Is that wrong of me? Probably. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think those might be my two favorite sections. And then down here, I just have the books with Harry's wand. And then this is actually, I just threw that down there. This actually, I took the books out of the trunk and moved some stuff out. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. My birthday is actually this month and I have some things I'm trying to hint, hint to my husband that I want to get down there. So we'll see. So yeah, and then I have my potion section. My new Snape Riddle from um, the Patronus packet. I'm absolutely loving my green section. <laughs> but yeah, some of my favorite potions. And then we have this section. I think this one is pretty much the same. I added the ministry token that we got from Wizarding Trunk, the mirror from High Street Outpost. So yeah. And then we got this up here. Got a couple things from Twilling and Tattings. We got the art print, the dragon challenge egg. And then she also did the wreath. She's so talented. So yeah. I think this might be one of like my favorite ways I've done my bookshelf. Can anybody spot 
the Lord of the Rings thing on my bookshelf, though. Let me know if you spot it. Because it has been here the entire time I've had this bookshelf. <laughs> and I've never taken it off. <laughs> so, yeah. For my birthday, I actually wanted to get some white bookshelves. Like a corner bookshelf that went from here all the way here. But I don't know if I'm going to because I really like my art prints there. But yeah, y'all let me know what your favorite section is. And I've actually been reorganizing my actual bookshelf. Hold on, let me flip my lights over. Some light in this dark corner of my room. I have gotten so many books. And so I kind of had to reorganize it. Those four are actually my book boxes. And this one actually holds all of my Harry Potter stickers. Yeah, these are all my Harry Potter stickers. <laughs> so yeah. And then this one, the, these are the fairy loot ones. This one actually holds all of my magnetic bookmarks and all of my like paperclip bookmarks. So yeah, tons of those as well. Most of them are Harry Potter ones. I love Ron Ron. So yeah, I have quite a bit of different type of bookmarks. I have a problem, I really do. And this one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Winky. Mad but fad. So yeah, tons and tons and tons. <laughs> oh, and John. Hmm, Game of Thrones. How you disappointed me. So yeah. <laughs> and then back to the books. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I have not read the majority of these books. It's sad. I honestly have been in such a reading slump lately. Like at the beginning of the year, I read probably like 14 books, probably within the first month to month and a half. Most of them were adult romance books though, which honestly used to be what I read the most. I've always loved YA, but I've never read this much YA until I got book box subscriptions. And I'm just, guys, I have not read, I mean, I don't even know, like, haven't read any of those. Uh, no, 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 yes. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. No. <laughs> this whole shelf. No. Oh, wait, I read that. I think I've read all of that. Read that. Read those. Read most of this shelf. Read those. Red Serpent and Dove. So, yeah. I, I'm a failure. Like, I should not buy any more books until I read what is on my bookshelf. I know. I know. But this is what I want to read. I want to read All the Stars and Teeth and The Shadow Between Us. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and open these boxes. And then I'm going to get to reading. Which one first, though? Let's make Kit Kat decide. Kit Kat. Okay, pick a book for mommy. This one or this one? Do something. Just sit there. Pick a book. Pick a book. Which one? Which one? You're being real helpful, Kit Kat. Thanks for all of the support. Let's go make hubby pick a book. 
Okay, pick a book. The purple one. The purple one? Yes. Purple one first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open these boxes. Okay, so these are the boxes. Like I said, I have Alcrate and Beacon Book Box. This isn't a battle. I'm just gonna unbox them for you guys. So we have Beacon Book Box. This is their March box. Explosive Secrets. Oh, okay. Ooh, we have another mug. Oh, this is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. So apparently they're doing like a collectible. So this is like one of four. So I like the design. I wish it would have like continued. I don't know why like half of the cup is blank. So, I mean, I do like it. I just wish it would have extended the rest of the way. But still very cool. I like the colors. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Akatar series, so very cool. Next, we have a bookmark, and it says, You've changed me forever, and I'll never forget you. Oh, in the back. And the back says, The best people all have some kind of scars. That's, that sounds familiar. The selection-inspired wood bookmark designed by SJ Wonderlands. Oh, I do love the Selection series. I have read it several, several times. It is a very good series. So yeah, very pretty. I love wood bookmarks. Next we have a candle, the Bayview 4 Vanilla Cedarwood, made exclusively for Beacon Book Box by Novelty Years Candle. So it's like a reddish, pinkish color with some sparkles. Mm. Not my favorite smelling candle, to be honest. Oh, that's strong. Ooh, next, we have a little white box. Oh, this must be our ornament. Game of Thrones House Martell Ornament. So it says, unbowed, unbent, unbroken House Martell with their, like, sun sigil. This is a lot smaller than the ones that they have been sending. And I have to say, I actually kind of like them smaller um, because the other ones are very, very heavy. Uh, I really like this. Even though I will say, I like the boxes they were sending the other ones in a lot more. These are the ones we have been getting. So yeah, it is a lot smaller and the box is definitely not nearly as nice. Uh, but like I said, I actually think I do like the smaller size, um, but I did like the boxes, like, that, that was really nice. So, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Next, it looks like we have some chapstick. It says, Oh My Stars. And this was inspired by the Lunar Chronicles. SPF 50 Pomegranate Aloe Vera Lip Balm. Let's give it a whirl. It doesn't really have a smell. Feels good, tastes good, yeah. You guys know me, I'm addicted to chapstick, so I will never, ever have a problem with boxes including chapstick. <laughs> so yay, I'm a fan. Next we have the card for the photo challenge. Looks like we have a promotional thing for Ember Hawk by Jamie Foley, okay. And then we have the recipe of the month, which is Cresswell's Dark Chocolate Cake, Bacon with the Beacons. And on the back, as always, we have a really cool art print. And this was inspired by Stalking Jack the Ripper. So, very cool. And we are to the book, which is All Your Twisted Secrets by Diana Urban. And it did come with a letter from the author. Let's see if it is signed. And it is signed. Okay, let's see what it looks like without. Just white with red on the spine. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. Welcome to dinner and again, congratulations on being selected. Now you must do the selecting. What do the queen bee, star athlete, valley Victorian, stoner, loner, and music geek all have in common? Oh, this is giving me um, breakfast club vibes. They were all invited to a scholarship dinner, only to discover it's a trap. 
Someone has locked them into a room with a bomb, a syringe filled with poison, and a note saying they have an hour to pick someone to die or else everyone dies. Amber Prescott is determined to get her classmates and herself out of the room alive, but that might be easier said than done. No one knows how they are all connected or, or who would want them dead. As they retrace the events of the past year, they might have caused someone to do this. It becomes clear that everyone is hiding something. With the clock ticking down, confusion turns into fear and fear morphs into panic as they race to answer the biggest question, who will they choose to die? That escalated quickly. Like, Breakfast Club turned into, like, Panic Room turned into Saw kind of thing. Wow. This is probably not a book that I would normally, like, gravitate toward. That actually sounds really freaking good. Like, I want to know who they pick. I'm intrigued to read this. Okay, but that was everything from Beacon Book Box. As always, guys, let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. The candle was definitely my least favorite just because of the smell. Favorite, I would actually say, would be the book. I think is actually what I'm like most excited from this box. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to Owlcrate. Um, the reason this box is blue, I do believe this was like their anniversary box, maybe five years, I think. A lot of years like Owlcrate has been around I think the longest I think if not one of the longest book box subscriptions so I like the blue so the theme was music of the night so this was their March box very pretty spoiler card right on top I see a candle from flick the wick I'll create exclusive goblin grove Winter Berries, Peach, Yuzi, Pear, Fresh Air. Okay. So, just a blue. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> okay. That smells freaking amazing. I think that's the Winter Berries and Peach. <sighs> yes, I am a fan of this candle. Next, we have an Alcrate box with, like, music notes on there. It's a wireless speaker. What? That is so cute. It has our little owl logo on there. And that's actually really loud. Bluetooth mode. And I like that it came with this so we can actually carry it around on our wrist if we just so wanted to. Like... How cool is that? That is so freaking cool. Next we have our monthly enamel pin. So it's like a tree with its kind of reflection, maybe? And I love that you can see like the little music notes through the branches. I'm definitely getting the music of the night theme. That is really pretty. Ooh, next we have Bella's Lullaby Cho Mint Chocolate Chip Lip Scrub. It definitely smells like mint chocolate chip. I'll have to try it later. I've never had lip scrub before, so that's definitely something new. So, okay. Next, we have some socks, and I already love them just because they have the Owlcrate logo on there. Like, perfect for the Owlcrate anniversary box. And it says, happy reading. Thanks for being awesome. Just Owlcrate on the bottom with a little owl. I think this owl has a name. Do you guys know the name of the owl? I've heard it before. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, these are cute. I am a fan of socks. You guys know this, so yay. Ooh, next we have a 2B with, I'm assuming, an art print. It's a Phantom of the Opera art print. Very cool. I'm not going to lie, this is something I would never display on my walls. So I'm going to try and put it back in its tube and put it in my giveaway box. Next we have a cute little package with a owl sitting on some books. Oh, that is so cute. So it's like little stickers that you can personalize and write your name on right here. And I guess like put them in your books or whatever. 
and there are actually like quite a few of them and I like that it's kind of Harry Potter based because it has potions and herbology on the other books oh that is so cute I might actually put some of these in some of my more favorite books that I know I'll never get rid of um, I know a lot of booktubers and stuff tend to unhaul books so I'm not sure everybody would do this for their for their books and we have a, another brown package it's like a wooden art print and it says sing you a song and still your soul Victoria Schwab so this is by Emily Rudd inspired by Monst monsters of verity I have never read that but that is so Cool. Now the design of it might not be something I actually display um, so it might end up in my giveaway box but it is still freaking cool like how did she even do this like is this wood burning or that I don't I don't know that is cool and we are finally to the book and it did come with a letter from the author but guys look how pretty this cover is but not even that it has silver sprayed edges can you even tell that it's silver like hold on white silver yeah that is just gorgeous I love when we get sprayed edges <laughs> Okay, it should be signed by the author, and it is. Let's see what it looks like without. Ooh, I'm getting the enamel pin now. Kind of have the same design. So just blue with silver on the spine. And we have a map. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to read the description real fast. Born with a gift for music, Goneril Mozart has just one wish, to be remembered forever. But even as she delights audiences with her masterful playing, she has little hope she'll ever become the acclaimed composer she longs to be. She is a young woman in the 18th century Europe, and that means composing is forbidden to her. She will perform only until she reaches a mar marriageable age. Her tyrannical father has made that much clear. As Nanarol's hope grows dimmer with each passing year, the talent of her beloved younger brother, Wolfgang, only seems to shine brighter. His brilliance begins to eclipse her own, until one day a mysterious stranger from a magical land appears with an irresistible offer. He has the power to make her wish come true, but his help may cost her everything. In her first work of historical fiction, number one New York Times best-selling author Marie Lu spends a lush, lyrically told story of music, magic, and the unbreakable bond between a brother and sister. Oh. To be remembered in this world, she created another. Hmm. To be honest, that is not what I expected from the title. I don't know why. Um, okay. I like the magic aspect of it. I don't I don't know. It it sounds intriguing. I don't know. Has anybody read this yet? If so, let me know what you thought of it. But yeah, I definitely would want to read this book before I read this one. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy because it's normally the complete opposite. <laughs> so yeah, that was Owl Crate. Let's take a quick look at their pamphlets. We had the interview with the author. We had the Owlcrate exclusive cover and the regular cover. Yeah, definitely a big fan of the Owlcrate exclusive cover. Interview with the vendor, which was the Fairy Tale Bath Company, who did the lip scrub. And the theme for April's box is Full Moon Magic. Ooh, every April box will include an exclusive jigsaw puzzle illustrated by at Alien Art. As always, guys, let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Uh, -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I really liked the speaker, the candle, and the little library stickers. Least favorite would actually probably be the art print. Again, just because it's not something I would display. Ooh, 
Sorry, my legs were hurting. But yeah, still a great box from Alcrate, as always. But yeah, I'm probably going to put this and this and this in my giveaway box. So, um, as soon as I hit 3,000, I plan on doing a another giveaway for you guys, which is crazy still that I honestly never thought I would get anywhere close to anything like that. Like every time, still, every time I get a new subscriber or I get a nice comment, and I read all y'all's comments, and I screenshot some of them. Like, <laughs> I have some really funny ones, and I, I screenshot them so I can always have them. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, y'all y'all just amaze me. And when I say I appreciate you, and it means so much to me, it really does. Like, I know everybody says that, but it really does. Like, I didn't start this. For it to be a job or to make money or for anything like that like it really was to share my love of Harry Potter and books and just to have something to do that wasn't focused on job or children or Calvin <sighs> so yeah y'all y'all just amaze me so yeah okay well I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the mess I just made <laughs> And start reading maybe after lunch. I'm kind of hungry. Ugh. It's kind of nice doing a video with Dobby and Fox. <laughs> okay, I'll check in later. Y'all, I've only read the first chapter of The Shadows Between Us. And I'm already hooked. Like, what? I think this is gonna be an awesome book. Okay, I'm gonna read. Yeah, these little rugrats just got home from daycare. Uh, I fell asleep and took a nap. <laughs> I got to chapter five though, and then me and Calvin took a nap, so yeah. <laughs> but they're eating a snack. I'm gonna make dinner. We were done making a game table. Well, Calvin's putting his air hockey table together f that I got him for Christmas. So, Thank you for that out. yeah, I had to throw that in there. How was daycare today? Um, um, I was, I was coloring like a rainbow. A rainbow. Show them your picture. I can't. Whoa. It was like a rainbow, Mom. That's right. I love it. Yeah, it has. It has a lot of colors. It does have a lot of colors. I like that. Yeah. The rock. Oh, okay. The rock. Gotcha. The rock. You want water? A rock. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to cook dinner and try to read some more. I'll check in later. One more. 
score and you win, Boo Bear. Hit it with your puck, Bella. Yeah, hit it with your puck. Yeah. Hit it. Hit. Uh. All right, you win, Xander. Xander won. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Good job. Good job. You ready for me to whoop your butt again? You ready for round two? Mm -hmm. Best out of three. You bring it. Uh -huh. All right, it's time for mommy and daddy to cut, get back at it. Mommy, daddy turn now. Yay! Okay, so Calvin won this round of the air hockey. Two out of three. I won the first game. He won the last two. Play, Xander. Now Bella and Xander are playing. Let her do it and then she'll hit it to you. Zan Bella, you have to hit it to Xander. But I have gotten to page 71 of The Shadows Between Us. So far, guys, I'm loving this book. It's a really good book. But yeah, we're going to put the kids down, and then I'm going to read a little bit more, but that will be the end of this vlog. Y'all say bye. 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 Okay. Bye. How was the last time? Say bye. Bye. We're playing. So yeah, if you guys want to see more vlogs from me, just let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, woo! Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Bye! Kit Kat, I'm trying to vlog here. <laughs> wow. Really? Love these. Dementor. I mean. I have a bookmark collection. And then this is actually a new. <sighs> Pepper Rowe will not focus on her face, even if it's like right in front of it. These are the ones we have been getting. Oh, no, it's not. That's soap. There you are. <sighs> Another book for me to read. <laughs> Favorite. Well, sneak peek of Wormies. <laughs> oh. Alexa, what was Mozart's first name? Mozart is a name. Nanoral? Nanoral? Nanoral, nanoral, what kind of names? Why, why do y'all torture me so? Alexa, how do you pronounce N-A-N-N-E-R-L? I pronounce that nano, but I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. <laughs> y'all, I'm never gonna get away from puzzles. <laughs> Y'all, look at her eye. She fell like a week ago, and it's still, look, show me her eye. Yeah, did you fall? Get it! Uh, 
Get, get, 